orange camera from Edwards picking up our yaw jet thruster still firing to maintain attitude. This is a look out uh, Kurt's right window there as we make uh, about a 90 degree turn to final at Edwards. Um, as we uh, roll out on final, <clears throat> we had one uh, final test to perform before we landed. It was a subsonic aero test to uh, roll the vehicle left and right and to uh, yaw the vehicle left and right to look at control power in those control surfaces to see if uh, there's a potential for uh, more crosswind capability in the vehicle. Once that was complete, <clears throat> we rolled ourselves back out on final approach. We fly the approach now at about 300 knots equivalent airspeed. At 2,000 feet or so, we begin to uh, uh, decrease our glide angle from 20 degrees to just over one degree. At 300 feet, uh, Kurt extended the gear for us. And as we continually decelerate, we cross the threshold of the runway at about 225 knots, <clears throat> 17 feet in the air, and targeting a touchdown speed of 195 knots. We uh, touch down about uh, 3,200 feet down the runway, and immediately after touchdown, we deploy a drag chute. We had the first uh, reusable drag chute of the space shuttle program. The drag chute helps us decelerate as well as lowers the slap down rates on the nose gear. Uh, the deceleration we get out of the drag chute uh, reduces the amount of runway we use by about 1,500 to 2,000 feet. Uh, at about 60 knots, we release the drag chute so we don't have to contend with that hardware post wheel stop. And uh, by this time, we had uh, flown uh, about 175 revolutions of the Earth 